guys, I'm here with Laura. We are reviewing the Barbie movie. I'm about to say some super controversial things you may or may not like me after this video. Laura too, okay? You might not like her at all after this video. Or you might love us. I don't know, it's gonna go either way. So here is our very unpopular Barbie movie review. It's Laura's first time driving the Tesla. Don't crash. I won't, I'll try. Okay, so what are we doing today, Laura? We're gonna go watch the Barbie movie and I'm actually excited that you picked me because I was like, I, I picked think... you. <laughs> you picked me to come with you. I thought it would be Julie to a Barbie movie, but. You're my Barbie. You're my skipper. I picked you because you're my skipper. What does that mean? <gasps> you don't know who Skipper is? No. Skipper is Barbie's little sister. Oh. Okay. Did you not play with Barbies as a kid? I didn't. <gasps> <laughs> I picked the wrong person. Okay, we're gonna watch the Barbie movie. I just feel like it's just a heavy conversation in girl world right now. And I feel like if I don't know what's going on, I'm out of the loop. It's just a very relevant, hot conversation about feminism, entrepreneurship, existentialism, faith for some people. And I was like, all right, you got me. And the marketing, hello. The marketing game plan has been genius. It's so good. It's been genius. They've been able to get every single big brand on board to promote them, which I think we've never seen that in history. For those of you who don't know, Laura is my COO. Cause she's cool. Ooh. Why didn't you play with Barbies as a kid? You didn't play with Barbies? I didn't play with Barbies Did you, you as a kid. You didn't own one Barbie? No, I've never owned a Barbie. Didn't you have like private jets and stuff? <laughs> I've always just been the type of kid that would just play outside. I used to be so much into swimming, so like swimming took all of my day. I would train for four to five hours. Wait, what you're saying is you're better than us. So when I got home, I just used to like have like being outside and playing with my friends, like ball or oh, riding a bike. You know, what she's like saying, that. she's better than us. So yeah, I'm really excited to see the movie, just especially because I've never been in that role of like playing with Barbies. And I'm excited to see the movie because I did play with Barbies. So I think it's gonna be interesting to have our contrast. We even have some catching up to do. I think I need to buy you a Barbie doll. A Barbie house. I used to have a real house, like a real playhouse, but not with Barbies. Your parents <laughs> bought you a real house. They built me a, like a playhouse in oh my, my grandma's backyard. <laughs> I am utterly shocked that you're not a spoiled adult. <laughs> you can buy your kids everything and end up being fine. Hey! <laughs> can we get popcorn? Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. You know they have Barbie drinks at Starbucks. Did you see my picture the other day? I saw this guy, it's a big black guy, and then he wore all pink and he ordered the Barbie drink just like me. It's like this big tough black guy. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need a picture with you. <laughs> I've never seen a movie this close. Well, the only seats that were left. <laughs> Stop complaining. I just told everybody that you're not a brat. Hey, Bobby, I like your style. Let's talk about first impressions. Oh no, it was such a mess. So many elements. There's so many. <laughs> All I can say is I have never been so attracted to my husband. There was no good men, like nothing. I wanted to know if your thoughts aligned with mine of like how the movie just divides the population into men and women, but it was, dysfunctional. They didn't work together. Yeah, they, it was either or. It's it like either men lose yeah, or women, women lose. lose. Exactly. It was the most divisive movie, sexist and divisive movie I've ever seen. Correct. Unpopular opinion. <laughs> I'm still getting a Barbie Jeep. You can't stop me. It was so divisive. There were no adequate women, no adequate men. I wanted to be nobody in that movie. No one came to save the day. The best part of the whole thing was America Ferreira's 45 second you have speech. To always, you have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy, but also you have to be thin. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money because that's correct. You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids about the tax. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. There were no manly men and no feminine women. The fact that they couldn't come to an agreement that they can work together to make the world better. I can't think <laughs> of a more like horrible society. This is why the whole movie, the whole thing, it actually made me cry at the end. The end, the song was, what was I made for? Because that's essentially what started this depression to begin with. When people, dolls, or don't have purpose, they don't know what they're made for. Seem like a bunch of lost people. There was one part when Weird Barbie said to Barbie, you know, you have to go into the real world to help her so you can help yourself. That was like the only part, but they didn't emphasize that enough. Like, yeah, us as human beings have to help each other to get to a solution, but that was like a one second thing. And it wasn't highlighted in the movie as much. It wasn't highlighted with like, like women and men. The whole thing yeah. was like completely like, just let's just deny our design like our natural 
DNA and our design. Don't have kids, don't have meaning, don't fill this God-shaped hole in your heart. In the real world, do you see how nice everyone was? <laughs> everyone is so nice in the real world. Girls do work together, they saw us, we look like this, and yeah. then they're being so nice. In Barbie world, that's not the case. It starts off with like, women thriving in perfection, and then men trying to take power, uh -huh. and then they lose control, and then they tell Barbie to get in a box. You know, it's like men chasing uh -huh. her to get in a box. Men are trying to put her in a box, there's and, the metaphor yeah, there. The metaphor of men trying to put her in a box. But that's literally what this movie yeah. is. It, yeah. it ends up putting her in a box. And then it also shows how men were so weak because they didn't even know the right way to take control of power or like to take control of- They were of, so dumb. Yeah, to make sure that both men and women could coexist in a perfect world. It I, was just like I, one yeah. or the other. <laughs> yeah, it was one or the other. It was so divisive. I yeah. thought it was going to end with them falling in love or like Fine, working yeah. together. The ideal way for me to end is yeah. them falling in love and starting a family. It, it didn't come to a solution. There was no solution. There was no solution. It was always just the opposites throughout the movie. It, it's like it's both either, couldn't win. Yeah, both one couldn't it, win. I, I felt like it was like the most man-hating movie I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, it was sad. It was a little it sad. It was so sad! Why yeah. was it so... It, listen, it was still fun. Yeah, it was fun. The thing that made me laugh were the Birkenstocks. Do you want the Birkenstock or the heel? <laughs> I know, it's right. like, why can't women just wear both? both depending you, on the time. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> How those little girls said, well, Barbie is synonymous with professional bimbo. I think that's really sad that little girls now, like tweens now, are the message now is aspire to be symmetrical and beautiful and fit and rich and all of the things that Barbie is, like, oh, you're a mom, you're a homie, you could be all those things, is bad. It's like bad for society. Like, why can't we aspire for something? It's like ordinary now. Don't you dare say you aspire to be all these things. Don't you dare say that you aspire to be rich and pretty and fit and in love and be a great cook and be a businesswoman. Like, don't you, like, I feel so villainized. And I'm not saying that, like, have to be these things, but why is that bad to aspire to be something great? That at the end, they came out with ordinary Barbie? If I had a daughter, I wouldn't give my kid ordinary Barbie so my kid can aspire, or like my sons, I'm not gonna tell them like, hey, aspire to marry ordinary Barbie. Like, listen, if that is what you want, fine. But like, isn't the point of imagination and toys? And Barbie inspired me. It inspired me to be like that. I don't know. I feel like standards are just going down, down, yeah. down, I mean, down, I just think, down. I think the message is not to just like be one thing or the other. It's just, yeah. it's just really like what resonates with you. But then at the same time, you can't be that without men. In my opinion, it's Barbie and Ken. And he was so sad. Isn't that what you want? <laughs> Women, what do you want? You feminists, what do you want? Do you I want know. a man that's like devoted to you? Don't you want romance and true love? I don't know, this whole independence thing has gone yeah. way too far. Exactly, that was like the movie's agenda. Like, oh, let's just make women perfect by themselves because they can thrive by themselves. And then like, we can men. I'm sorry, I'm needy <laughs> AF. And I think it's the fact that we can be both. There's nothing we can wrong both. with needing yeah. a man. Yeah, we can be both. As independent and I'm the breadwinner, there's nothing, I need my husband and I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's also like, if truly you're cool being by yourself, Yeah. great. But don't villainize women like me who are needy AF, with long ass <laughs> lashes, wear bright pink. Who can have it all. Who can have it all. Stop putting horns on me. Stop, Stop it. putting people in a what? box. What? I know, that was so insulting. The whole movie, I felt so insulted. Okay, based on the movie, how do you personally balance your role as an entrepreneur, mother, wife, and a Christian? And what challenges have you faced trying to balance all of those elements together? Oh, well the best part of the movie was America Ferreira's speech, which is, listen, balance is a joke. <laughs> Yeah. There's no such thing as balance. But you can try. It's like having a perfect expectation that you're gonna balance all these things perfectly is it's a joke. Something is suffering right now. I have a husband, I have a nanny, I have a mom who helps take care of my kids. How have I balanced it? I ask for help. What challenges have I faced? Getting judged. No matter what I do. And so I've stopped looking into it too much because it's yeah. pointless. So you said like you didn't grow up playing Barbies, but like I don't know what your impression of Barbie was as a child. What did you think of Barbie before? So I always saw Barbie 
Well, this is this is a little weird because a big part of my childhood was with my dad, and so I think I during my childhood I wasn't so focused on like girly activities. I was just focused a lot on sports. So I always saw Barbie like as a girly thing. Yeah, like a girly thing. That basically it's it's a big contrast for me. It was you don't really yeah. have a formed opinion of Barbie. Right. I just always saw her kind of like what they. They showed in the movie like this perfect girl who had it all, everything was perfect. The way that I see Barbie is she had everything figured out, everything was perfect, everything like the house was given, the car was given, right? She just gets put into the car, she gets put into the house. She has friends that are just given. That is a big contrast for me and a big disalignment because I saw the other face of things where it's like women need to work really hard to get things. I don't know, maybe I did think she worked for it. I always thought Barbie worked for what she had. It didn't come with a story. I always thought, because Barbie had all these things, she must have worked for it. As a child, I looked at those Ferraris, and I'm like, she must have done something significant to get this. Hmm. I never once thought that this was given to her. Hmm. Never. Well, we can agree to disagree. I guess so. and that. <laughs> but then at the same time, why do girls play with Barbie? Because they're chasing that dream, that perfect life. Yeah, great. But you gotta work for it. It was never in the manual. It hey, was Barbie. never It was never in the manual. It was ne it was ne <laughs> that's the cool thing about Barbie is imagination. Yeah. Right. I Ima imagined yeah. she must have gone to school. Yeah. She must have started no, a business. Like Barbie's she just, must have, Barbie's really just born car. a doctor. I think, too, the hidden message of the movie could be like women should just strive the world because it's a given. Does that make sense? What do you mean it's a given? Oh, okay. like, it's a yeah. given that we run the world? Yeah. That's what they want us to think. Perhaps the hidden agenda of the movie, because it's a feminist movement, <laughs> okay. could be that it's a given that girls should run the world in a perfect way. Because we're better at it? Mm hmm. I think that's what it's trying to tell that's us. That's what it's trying to tell us. I do run my world. We do, but not isolated. I don't think that I'm in competition with men, though. Right, correct. That's the difference. Correct. I think Correct. men help me run my world. Right. I feel but quite empowered. There was a part where they were trying to take over the Kens, and so like in order to take over the Kens, you have to pretend to be dumb, right? Yeah. I don't necessarily see it as pretending to be dumb. I don't think you need to pretend to be dumb. I think what they're trying to say, I think what the world thinks is like pretending to be dumb is women have this ability to make men feel good. True. Just like men have the ability to make us feel good. But I think it's just overall niceness. And also, there is something to men feeling needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When men feel needed, they feel useful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ladies, they are, what they're basically saying in this yeah. movie is men are a utility for and us. And they brought that up, but then they shut down the idea. Yeah, like, what, they, was, they was, villainized the they idea. They villainized the idea. They did. What lessons would you want, like, young girls, especially those that come from immigrant backgrounds like you and myself, to take from your success and also the imagery that's associated with, with Barbie? Yeah, well, I think you said it just, like, a few seconds ago. It's like, yes, we do have power to create the world that we want, mm -hmm. and that's beautiful if we work hard at it, right? But we do need men as well, so. There's nothing, I'm not yeah. that upset about needing yeah. men why is it so yeah. bad to yeah. need people right. it's almost like the thing is it's like what it's telling young girls it's like it's bad to need anything yeah it's bad to need men what this movie pointed out actually is that real men are we're in great need of real strong men that this is what happens when you don't have real men in the mix and women that are smart and that need them and that works and this is what happens it's like chaos Oh, I, I and can't then avoid. also the fact that they're dolls, they have no genitals. There's no there's no option there's of no procreation. procreation. <laughs> Which is like, what am yeah. I made for? Yeah, and it ended with her going to the gynecologist. Yeah. Maybe you're meant to start a family. Right. What's wrong with that? Yeah. That agenda of the movie, I think that could also so be dangerous hideous. for kids to watch because then data is showing that the more and more, like right after the pandemic, more people want to be isolated, more people are depressed, more people want less right. social interaction. Yes. So less people want interaction and where is that taking us? That's that's just going to take us to extinction. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's a little bit of what this movie is too. Okay. In the movie, Ruth, the creator of Barbie, she says, well, all of our endings are the same. She said, it's death. All of our endings are the same. To me, true success is living your life for Jesus. 
I think we definitely disagree with just dying. You know, you can't just... That's, that's so that, that's depressing! Like, and there's this quote, standing still is death. She basically, Ruth, the creator, told Barbie, like, you know, it doesn't matter because at the end you'll die, but that's not true if you really have a purpose in life. I'm a Christian. I do not believe you just die. I believe you go to heaven. And God if put you, you in life for a reason. I can't think of anything more depressing than living solely for myself. Right. Solely yeah. for myself. I can't think of anything more depressing yeah. than being alone and just going to gynecologist appointments by myself, yeah. for myself. And I think that's the sad part because, again, going back to studies of what's recently happening with society and people just staying tell more, us, Laura, tell us, staying more to like themselves and just worrying about themselves and not like how they can make the world better or make other people around them better. You know what? There were beautiful glimpses in the Barbie movie, which of what it could have been. A Barbie movie should be a mother-daughter film. I, there were glimpses of it. The most touching parts of it to me were the scenes between mother and daughter because that's what I remember bonding me and my mom. She would buy good. me yeah. these Barbie dolls and I was like, they look like you mom they look like you and I'm playing with these dolls because I want to like be you if you were my little sister back then guess what we would have done what play with Barbie we would have played with Barbies and I would have been like, yeah. like okay so you take this one <laughs> No, you sit in the passenger seat, I'm driving! And then I would have probably <laughs> cut all your Barbie's hair and made you cry. <laughs> Look at what Lola did! She turned my Barbie into the weird she one! Turned the weird Barbie. <laughs> okay, with everything that we just said that might be like polarizing or controversial or whatever, I hope that this video encourages women of all ages, of all walks of life, of all faiths, to be bold enough to just state your mind, speak your opinion about things. Because that's what I'm starting to do. Because being still is death. <laughs> Not speaking your mind is death. Yeah, that's, that's what I hope. What about you? I hope that we can find a balance of working together and find yeah. the gifts, yeah. Because, you know, God created men and women to be together in this world. That's what we believe. Like, what um, are we supposed to do? Just, like, um, eradicate men entirely? Like, yeah, you're completely exactly. useless. No, no like, both, we both each have our gifts. Both and are special. We, we need each other to grow together. It's not one or the other. It's not one or the other. And I felt like this movie was so divisive. Yeah, I hope, like, you know, in your relationships, you can find ways where you can work together, see what the win-win is. Your Just ideal situation. Recognize that like we're all flawed. You're gonna need someone at some point and that's okay. Yeah. Anyways, these were our thoughts about the Barbie movie. One week later. But when Barbie came out, I was like, oh, finally a movie about me. And that's why I took it so personally. And all the people that are like, why would you take a doll movie like so seriously? It's a doll movie. I get insulted because I'm like, I am so used to people not taking me seriously. I took it very personally. And I realized now, after some time to digest the movie, that's why I was like upset about it. I felt misrepresented. I felt like they hijacked my brand. It was cheesy. America Ferreira's speech though, universally, every woman loved it. You know, Barbie gave me something to aspire to. Agreed. For me. I know a lot of women are like, well, Barbie made me feel bad about myself. Then don't play with her. Okay, don't play with her. Barbie gave me something to aspire to. She has it all. And you know what is really interesting? I never thought, because Barbie had all these cars, had this mansion, had all these clothes and everything, I never assumed for one that a man gave it to her. I always thought Barbie must have worked real hard for all this stuff. She had like 50, yeah. I never assumed that. I guess that was the assumption of a lot of people. And I'm like, why would you assume? I guess so. See, it's like everyone, it's like through, everyone has a different lens, I guess. But yeah, that's why I took it really personally, because I was like, hmm, it's about me.